Hello, God bless you. A blessed Monday of Christmas week. <laughs> We're gonna pray. That's the best thing to do on the Monday of Christmas week, right? So you have a minute to get your rosary and your coffee. I'm still drinking my coffee. And um, we will pray together. Today is such a beautiful day in the church because we remember Christmas. We continue to remember Christmas. So I pulled out that um, icon of the Holy Family in a Siberian forest. Oh, I love my Russia so much. We can pray for Russia today, for the conversion of Russia, for God to open up paths for my books to get translated into Russian so we can be part of that triumph of the Immaculate Heart, right? Um, what was I doing? It's just multitask. Okay. Um, but then it's also the feast of St. John the Beloved. So I pulled down my statue of St. John the Beloved. And um, he was a doctor of love, of authentic charity. He was the apostle that was most faithful to Jesus. And so um, he remained faithful even under the cross. He's the apostle that laid his head on the chest of Jesus, on his sacred heart. He knows the heartbeat of Jesus. What a grace so few saints have had to know the true, authentic heartbeat of Jesus. And um, he wrote the gospel. And um, he was very deep in his writing. His gospel is different from the others because um, it's so mystical. And he uh, focuses a lot on the divinity of Jesus. He understood the mystery of his, um, his being more than the other evangelists. They focus more on what he did, what it looked like, what happened. But John kind of gets lost in contemplation as he writes, right? We read from John the other day for our Christmas rosary, the beginning of his gospel and the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God, right? And um, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. He likes to give us that divine perspective of things. And I always had such a devotion to him too from childhood before I knew all that because my little brother Johnny, his birthday is tomorrow. So I'll put his picture up tomorrow. Um, but his feast day was today because he was named after St. John. And um, it's so beautiful because when his birth mother gave him the name Jonathan, we shortened it to John, but gave him the name Jonathan, um, she didn't know that the Catholic feast day for St. John was the day before. She was very, very young. And so and she wasn't Catholic, so she wouldn't have known that. So it's just neat and beautiful to see how the Holy Spirit works in the hearts of his children, even those who might not always recognize um, him or know him the same way that you and I might, right? But the Holy Spirit is alive and active everywhere, in every heart. And um, it's really beautiful. So we celebrate that feast day of St. John today. Um, and we'll pray in between some of the mysteries, I have two different um, quotes from his epistles. You know, he wrote the Gospel of St. John, but then he also wrote some letters that are real beautiful. And um, we're going to read about those in between the mysteries. And then today is also the feast day of this lady that you see here. And her name is Sarah Selkahazi. And she... Um, it was from Slovak, born in Slovakia, but she died. It was killed in Hungary, in Budapest, by the Nazis. And um, I have a niece named Sarah. And when she was little, she said, there is no Saint Sarah. So I looked up and I found Saint Sarah Selkahazi and showed it her to her. But she's sort of become a friend of mine. She um, was a religious sister, but for a while they had her even leave the convent. 
and um, she continued to live her vows privately as if she was there, right? She was still faithful to everything that the Lord asked of her, and it wasn't dependent on being in that physical convent. And then um, she ended up making temporary vows. They wouldn't even allow her to make um, final vows. And um, she was a writer, a prolific writer during the time of the Nazis against the Nazis. And that's eventually why they came after her. And um, she ran a house of for working girls to kind of protect them. And when they came to arrest these girls to kill them, she was away from the house. And she came back and she did not have to go in. She could have hidden. But she knew that her place was to be faithful and to be with the girls she was in charge of. So she presented herself and said, I am the head of this house. And they took her, and on December 27th, which is today, they stripped her naked and shot her with her girls there in Hungary. So she is a martyr for the faith. They hated her because of her faith, because of her writing, because of her love. So we remember St. Sarah. We ask her intercession today for us along with St. John. And we pray for all of those who are persecuted in their faith. We pray for especially our communities in Nigeria and Pakistan, Afghanistan, and even some places in Central America, in Russia and Poland. And here in the United States, we pray for religious freedom. We pray for um, all those who are fighting injustice within the courts. We pray for um, an end to abortion and for um, an overthrow of Roe v. Wade so that more babies aren't killed. And we also pray because of St. John for an authenticity and love to begin to reign in the world, that there's a greater light and a greater love because people choose sin and the wrong thing because they're in darkness. They don't know better. I think most people who choose what's wrong aren't sitting there thinking, I'm going to choose what's wrong. They're just so misguided by the lies in the world, and especially in the media. And um, They choose what's wrong. They're not heroic in their love of God because um, they really don't know. And so we pray, St. John says, that God is light and God is love. And so um, they don't see the world properly, and they also don't see each other and other people properly. And that's why that they teach and they... Um, they live incorrectly. So we're going to pray for an increase of great light and great love in the world. We pray for all of those in discernment. And um, I ask for prayers for a special intention. So we'll start with the morning offering. It is still morning. Oopsie. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name and all the desires of your sacred heart and reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, all of the intentions of my heart, and for our final union with you in heaven. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day. My eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. And of course, we remember all of the intentions on these pages, all of your intentions, all of my intentions. And um, we ask the Lord to do miracles today. We especially remember those who are sick and recovering for Levi, for Liam, for those with cancer, for those with COVID, for the elderly, for those who struggle with addictions, for those who are dying. We... Pray for all of them, all of those who we love, all of those who need conversion. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit 
born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. We pray for their protection, their intentions, for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, that light, courage, fortitude, humility, integrity, and love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the first um, joyful mystery on this Monday morning is the Annunciation. And in this mystery, we just remember Our Lady's fiat, her surrender to God, regardless of the circumstances. And she said fiat to the angel um, in Nazareth when he came to her and asked her to be the mother of God. She said fiat to the angel when Joseph still didn't understand, when she was misunderstood. She said fiat to the angel when they were rejected. She had to flee into Egypt. She didn't go around explaining to everyone the ins and outs of why scripture would say it was right that she conceived in this way. She left her defense to God to the illumination of the consciences of those around her. She said fiat when she lost Jesus, even when she didn't understand his answer to her. She said fiat to his public ministry. She said fiat under the cross. She said fiat in the resurrection. She said fiat in the ascension when he went back to heaven and left her on earth. She always surrendered to God and we pray for that fiat to be part of ours. And we see it's very beautiful. Um, some of that Fia of Our Lady reflected in Blessed Sarah Salkahazi. And I have a quote from her life here. And what she wrote in her spiritual diary was, I want to follow you wherever you take me, freely, willingly, joyfully. Break my will, right? What did Our Lady say? Not my will, but yours be done. Let your will reign in me. I do not want to make my own plans. Let your will be done in me and through me. No matter how hard it might be, I want to love your will. I want to be one with you, my beloved and my spouse. So let's join our prayer in this decade with Sarah and with Our Lady and ask that we can truly say fiat no matter what life circumstances come to us. The Annunciation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother.
Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. And in this mystery, Our Lady carried baby Jesus to Elizabeth, and Jesus was hidden inside of her, and yet his light shone from her so powerfully that at the moment Elizabeth heard her voice, John the Baptist was baptized. He became that precursor of the truth in the world. Light. God is light, right? And the light comes from the truth and the love contained in the heart of baby Jesus. So the more that we can carry baby Jesus within our own hearts, the more we can shine his light and his love on the world. You know, sometimes you can meet a wor the world in error, right? Or a person that's in error. And it, when they have a certain kind of humility and a thirst for truth, Sometimes you can have a conversation where your words can give them truth, right? Can teach them truth. But so often the human heart is just um, prideful and they're closed. So it's not hopeless then. You might not be able to teach or to explain the truth, but you can carry the truth incarnate in your heart. You can pray that you are the light. And as you shine Christ through virtue, through love, through prayer, then God can enlighten the world around you in air. And they'll just see it. They'll know it through the Holy Spirit. It's really incredible. An example of that is 
um, the, some of these books, you know, I send all over the world and the holiness of womanhood in particular has been powerful in Nigeria. And you have these men who beat their wives, who abuse their wives. And they're sending me these testimonies saying, but after I read your book, I changed my mentality and I will treat women differently. Well, that blows my mind that you would have people so ground in sin and that a book would change them right? But see, I don't think it's the explanation necessarily in the book. I think it's that light, that through the light of the Holy Spirit in the image on the cover, in the words within, and in the love and the sacrifice that goes into providing them for free, right? That the Holy Spirit, it's not my words that change them, the Holy Spirit enlightens their heart, right? This is what Our Lady did. Was, she was the light bearer to Elizabeth. And St. John writes about that in his first letter. He says, God is light. Now this is the message that we have heard from him and we proclaim to you. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him, while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and we do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and he'll cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, then we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So God is light. Let's pray that he shines that light on us so that through the Holy Spirit we see where we need to change. And let's pray that we may be a light bearer to the world like Our Lady and carry Jesus out so that everyone around us might see that light and see themselves and God and the world through that new perspective of God's light and his love and his truth. The visitation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagada Tipolnaya, Gaspod Staboya, Blagaslavian Natimiej Dejonami, I blagoslavien plodčreva tvajevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boža, Malisa nas grešni, Nini i v čas smirti naši, Amen. Polish, Zdrovaš Maria Waski pauna pan s tabom, Bogoslavion aš timjen za nevestami, I bogoslavioni ovo čevota tvajego Jezus. Šventa Maria, Matka Boža, Murlše za nami češnimi, Teras i v godina i šmerči naši, amen. Spanish, Dios te salve Maria, jena reis te gracia al senores contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadori, ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte, amen. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de grazia, al Signore con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccadori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc ed in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagadati polnaya gaspodsta boyu, 
Blagoslavien na tim jež dežonami i blagoslavien plačreva tvajevo Isus. Svetaja Marija, Mater Boža, mali sa nas grešni, nini v čas smerti naši, amen, poleš. Strovaš Marija vaski pauna pan s tabom, bogoslavio naš tim jen za nevestami i bogoslavio ni ovoč života tvajego Jezus. Šventa Marija, Matka Boža, murlše za nami křešnimi, teraz i v godina i šmirči naši, amen, spaneš. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, Nunca de nora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, Help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave. Ave Maria. It's got really dark outside, so I wanted to at least turn on a couple lights here. And I grabbed my baby Jesus for this mystery. The third joyful mystery is the birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem. He's life size. He's so beautiful. We can meditate on him as we pray this mystery and pray that we can become little like him. Can you see him here? We pray that we can love like him, right? That look at him looking out at you and blessing you in this mystery. And we pray, I want to read this quote from St. Sarah Selkahazi. She wrote in her spiritual diary, I'm grateful to you for the love you've given me. My dear Jesus, I place this love into your little hands, right? Keep it chaste and bless it so that it may always be rooted in you and increase in me my love for you. I know that if I love you, I can never ever get lost. If I want to be yours, with all of my heart, you will never let me stray from you. She's praying that love may be her guide. And as we look at baby Jesus here in this mystery, I'm going to lift him up a little bit so you can really see him. He's blessing us and we place our hearts in these little hands and we ask him to help us to love and that his love becomes so incarnate within us that it's our guide, right? The birth of baby Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of this tiny baby Jesus in the temple. And as he's presented, what does Simeon say? To Our Lady, you yourself a sword will pierce, so the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. Why would Our Lady suffer? It's because of love. Because the one that she was one with in love, she loved so much she came into union with Jesus, would suffer. And so as that sword pierced his heart, it pierced her, hers. Love made them one. Love made them one. And we ask Our Lady to intercede for us so that our hearts may be made one with the love of Jesus in the same way. And St. John, who we celebrate today, he writes about this love in his epistle, in his letter. He says, Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God but if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. It is possible. We pray for that perfection. God is love and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. In this is love brought to perfection among us that we have confidence on the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment 
And so one who fears is not yet perfect in love. We love because God first loved us. But if anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he's a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. This is the commandment that we have from him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. We want this love to be brought to perfection in us, and we want his perfect love to become incarnate in us. We want his perfect love to cast out the fear that enters so many hearts in this world today. So in this mystery of the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple, we ask for that grace. We ask that the perfect love of God may unite us with Christ, and that we have no fear, but a willingness to even suffer with him and to trust him that he'll bring to fruition his will, regardless of the circumstances around us. He finds a way, right? God always writes straight, even with crooked lines. The presentation in the temple. I'll let you look at him one more mystery. <clears throat> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. <coughs> as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian, we pray for the conversion of Russia. Radusia Maria, blagada te polnaya gaspodsta boya. Blagoslavia na timia zdržonen. I blagoslavim plodšareva tvoje vo Isus. Svetaja Marija, Mater Boža, malisa nas grešni. Ni ni včas smrti naši. Amen. Polež. Zdrovaš Marija, vaski pauna pan s tebo. Bogoslavio naš timjen za navesami. I bogoslavio ni ovo od života tvojego Jezus. Šventa Marija, Matka Boža, murlše za nami kšišnjeni. Teraz i v godine i šmirči naši. Amen. Spene. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave Maria, llena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tú se benedicta fra la Domine. I benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tu, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc ed in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russia. Radusia Maria, blagada ti polnaya gaspod staboya. Blagoslavia na timia zdržonami i blagoslavia plečreva tvoja vo Isus. Svetaja Maria, Mater Boža, mali se nas grešni. Nini včas smrti naši. Amen. Polaš. Zdrovaš Maria vaski pauna pan stabo. Bogoslavio naš timjen za nevestami i bogoslavio ni ovo od života tvojego Jezus. Šventa Marija, Matka Boža, murlše za nami kšešnjeni, teraz i v godina, i šmirči naši, amen, spjeneš. Dios te salve, Marija, jena reis de gracia, el Senjor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, i bendito el se fruto de vientre Isus. Santa Marija, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadori, ahora je la hora de nuestra muerte, amen, Italian. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus teco. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, 
ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave. Ave Maria. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. I wanted to read this from Blessed Sarah Salkahazi. Sometimes when we follow Jesus like Mary and Joseph, right? They were entrusted with the job of leading him, of guiding him, of being his parent. We reach things that are difficult and we don't understand and we don't see clearly the plan of God in everything. And God the Father, through the Holy Spirit, led Jesus at age 12 to stay in the temple. That wasn't him being like a snotty teenager. Jesus was God. And he knew that following the will of God would hurt his parents, but he knew that they would grow from it. And sometimes when we do the will of God, it it does. It can hurt your family. Think about those called to the priesthood or religious life and their family rejects them, right? Sometimes, you know, you might, you know, reject some position of something in the world, right? Um, And the rest of your family doesn't understand because they're not formed morally as well as you are. But God wants us to strive to love one another like we heard and to have peaceful relationships. And we never want to be a grudge towards them. We want to be humble and loving um, towards everyone. And yet he wants us to be faithful regardless of the cost. And when Mary and Joseph found Jesus, they said, you know, what, why did you do this? We don't understand. And he stretched their hearts. I'm sure he looked at them with love. I'm sure they received invisible grace that is not recorded in the gospel, right? There's so much invisible that goes on around us from God, right? That we just can't see the side of eternity. Graces that are given to us. And he says those words that pierce the heart of Mary, like was prophesied. Didn't you know I should be in my father's house? And it stretched her heart. And it says she went home and she pondered that, right? She didn't reject it, even though she didn't really understand. She said, okay, Lord, in great humility, I want to be taught. I want my love to grow. And she allowed that. And I think that God allowed that situation, even in the holiness, holiest of families, to give grace to all the people that would come after Jesus that would need um, to follow him even when there might be misunderstanding or confusion in different situations. Love triumphed in that. Love of his father kept Jesus in the temple and love of Jesus kept Mary and Joseph looking and love of God made sure there was no bitterness when they found each other. And love caused Jesus, it says he went home and he was obedient to them. God was obedient to man, right? So many lessons we can learn in that. And I think, too, that that was allowed as a foreshadowing of the cross, right? There would be three more days where Mary would lose her Jesus. But she'd look back to the finding in the temple and think, at the end he came and I didn't understand and there was a reason. And for three days after he died, I feel that same way. And yet she could look back and receive a sort of spark or inspiration of hope. 
because of what happened before she found him, that he would come and he would rise from the dead, surely. Even if no one else around her believed that. It's so beautiful. Let's pray that we're faithful to God, no matter the difficulties, that we just lower ourselves in humility before that which we don't understand. And we ask that the love he has for us in our hearts increases. Blessed Sarah Selkahazi, whose feast day is also today, wrote in her spiritual diary, to love even when it's difficult, even when my heart complains, when I feel rejected. This is what God wants, is for me to love then. I will try. I want to start, even if I would fail, until I will be able to love. The Lord God gives me grace, and I have to work with that grace. So let's ask her intercession that we can love like Mary and Joseph, that we can love like Jesus, that we can love like Sarah Selkahazi, who is faithful unto death, that we can love like John, who wrote about God's love becoming perfection within us. The finding in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the immaculate heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. 
Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all of my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of all fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name, kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, Cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from you. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, for our families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim, and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O princes of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about this world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, come Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this day be at our sides to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. We pray for the souls that have died. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world, for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home, and within our own family. Amen. And we pray the St. Patrick's breastplate prayer. It's such a powerful prayer. And he prayed this in 433 before he went in to convert all the pagans. We have an awful lot of pagans in our world. So we ask for this protection as we go out to carry that light and that love of Christ to the world. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity. Through belief in the threeness, the confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, 
through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, in the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles and in the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who will wish me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets and black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizard saintness and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ to shield me today against poison and burning, against choking and suffocating, against destruction and accidents, against pestilence, infestation and plague, against drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, against jealousy, competition, blocking and division, against rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness and pride, against anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, against denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, and against every evil that could come against me, so that there may come to me an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, the confession of the oneness, of the creator of creation. Amen. And we pray pr prayers to the Holy Spirit because it's Monday. So Mondays we always pray our prayers to the Holy Spirit. The consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, body and soul, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul, and in you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought, and grant that I may always watch for your light, and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you, and I ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. 
O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, promised to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that I may know God, know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. The spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence toward God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Litany of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, all-powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, Redeemer of the world, save us. Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify us. Holy Trinity, hear us. Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who are equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Spirit of modesty and innocence, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governs the church, have mercy on us. Gift of God, the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit, who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, inspire us with the horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light in our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasure of thy grace. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merit of all virtue. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, send us thy Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, pour down into our souls the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us the spirit of wisdom and piety. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, that thy divine spirit may enlighten and flame and purify us, that he may penetrate us with his heavenly dew and make us fruitful in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who with thee in the unity of the same spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God most high, O fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts are known, Thou, finger of God's hand, we own. Thou, promise of the Father, thou, who dost the tongue with power in bow. Kindle our senses from above and make our hearts overflow with love. 
with pa patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from a strife the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide turn from the path of life aside. May thy grace on us bestow the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed of both the eternal spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son who rose from death be glory given. With thou, O holy comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. St. Augustine's Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Breathe in me, Holy Spirit, that all my thoughts may be holy. Move in me, Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Attract my heart, Holy Spirit, that I may love only what is holy. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, that I may defend all that is holy. Protect me, Holy Spirit that I may always be holy. Amen. And we pray St. Alphonsus Liguori's prayer to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, divine consoler, I adore you as my true God, with God the Father and God the Son. I adore you and unite myself to the adoration you receive from the angels and the saints. I give you my heart and I offer my ardent thanksgiving for all of the grace which you never cease to bestow on me. O giver of all supernatural gifts, who fills the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with such immense favors, I beg you to visit me with all of your grace and your love and to grant me the gift of holy fear so that it may act on me as a check to prevent me from falling back into my past sins, for which I beg pardon. Grant me the gift of piety, so that I may serve you for the future with increased fervor. Follow with more promptness your holy inspirations, and observe your divine precepts with greater fidelity. Grant me the gift of knowledge, that I may know the things of God, enlightened by your holy teaching and I may walk without deviation in the path of eternal salvation. Grant me the gift of fortitude, that I may overcome courageously all the assaults of the devil and all the dangers of this world which threaten the salvation of my soul. Grant me the gift of counsel, so that I may choose what is more conductive to my spiritual advancement and may discover the wiles and snares of the tempter. Grant me the gift of understanding so that I may apprehend the divine mysteries and by contemplation of heavenly things, detach my thoughts and affections from the vain things of this miserable world. Grant me the gift of wisdom so that I may rightly di direct all of my actions, referring them to God as my last end so that having loved him and served him all in this life, I may have happiness of possessing him eternally in the next. And lastly, a prayer to the Holy Spirit by Cardinal Mercier. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, and console me. Tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I promise sub to submit myself to all that you desire of me, and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint John the Evangelist, pray for us. Blessed Sarah Salkahazi, pray for us. Saint Xenia, pray for us. All of you holy angels and martyrs and saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for praying this Monday of Christmas week. 
And um, I hope and pray that you have a blessed day and a blessed week and that you receive all the graces that the Lord wanted to give you through this rosary. If you haven't gotten this book yet, Mornings with Mary, the rosary prayer book, this is where I take all those prayers from. Oftentimes people ask, and so I put all of these prayers together in this book, and you can find it on Amazon, and um, then you can pray it even when I can't be here with you or um, on other occasions. It's just a great collection of prayers, um, so you can go ahead and look that up. God bless you. Please pray for me and know that I'm praying for you.